Hey everybody, welcome to Kawagoe. It is very crowded here. Uh, we came here at around, I don't know, 11, 11 in the morning. And as the day went on, on a Sunday, it got even more crowded. Uh, this would be about the peak, I think. But if you look up at the sky, it looks like it's gonna rain. So that still, believe it or not, hasn't deterred people from coming here. We're gonna be going to a place called Candy Alley. In the last live stream, we walked from Kawagoe Station all the way to uh, the historical center where all of the uh, traditional warehouses are. It was a really interesting walk. Uh, that will guide you to get here. Now we're gonna go to the back side of it. And if you're joining us at a different time zone, you're in for a treat, two live streams in a day. Um, this candy alley is really interesting. It's called like Penny Candy Lane or Kashi Yokocho. Okashi means like uh, sweets or snacks, Okashi. So Kashi Yokocho would mean sweets alley. So there's a map right here on the corner. It's a little bit separated from the warehouse area, the old historical area. And you can see it's just one block, but if you go around here, you're gonna see about, I don't know, 20, 25 Okashi shops making all sorts of snacks. Okashi is not limited to just sweets. It could be senbei, things that you would snack on. The pictures here, little teeny sketches on here kind of tell you the story. And uh, it looks like they're making making something up there. There's just some with fish. Oh, this looks like taiyaki with cream, which I ate the other day in Kagurazaka. You can see they're making some other, maybe some mochi here, some rolling, some stuff. Kanai is actually waiting in line to get some bread at a bakery. There's a famous bakery here, and the line looked like it was 10 minutes long. So we didn't not want to show you something. So she's waiting in line so that by the time I get there, hopefully she would have picked one up and then we can eat that together. And what I like about this place is that you can also kind of get a look inside of the shops. You can see the artisans, the craftsmen making the snacks, making the okashi right in front of you. That's kind of a neat point. Um, a lot of them have windows and you can look in. So you're gonna get a chance to see lots of different kinds of um, sweets and snacks being made. This one here is allows you to make your own sembe. So let's take a look into the window. You pay here, it's 500 yen, and then you stand in front of one of these grills, do you see? And you can make your own sembe. It's pretty good. Oh. <laughs> Hello there. It looks like that. That's what you can make in here. So it's kind of neat to do it yourself. I'm a DIY guy. So maybe we'll do this to end the live stream. I'm not sure yet. Depends, depends on the rain. Depends on the rain because up there, this guy looks ominous. We had some, some drops hit us earlier, but we're hoping that it can hold out for a little bit longer. I did find one manhole. This isn't the one that I wanted to show you, but it has kind of a festive feeling to it. Underneath there's a fire hydrant. So you won't see them on the streets, but you'll see them underground. The manhole covers point you in the way. The great thing about the Candy Alley, Okashi uh, Yokocho, is that it's small. You can't really get lost. So I don't expect this to be a 90 minute marathon live stream. Oh, there she is. Mara, Mara. All right, she's still waiting in line. Let's give her some time here. And while she's waiting, let's take a look inside this window. Whoa, this looks so good. That's what we're waiting in line for. Maybe you can see it through the glare, but he's putting on some, some kind of chestnut icing on top of some freshly baked bread. And I can smell it. Oh, he's taking it, putting it into the oven. Oh no, I guess he's putting it to for sale now, just kind of to rest it up there. And then here comes the next batch. So a lot of the bakeries will specialize in one or two things, which allows them to make more of them. And then despite being a line that keeps increasing, Kanai has been already waiting for about 10 minutes. Everybody gets one. They don't really sell out. They have all sorts of different baked items inside there. I'm not even gonna attempt to film in there because yeah, it's tight. 
on the weekends, it's really hard to go to tourist spots and uh, relax. And Kagoe is a very popular day trip from Tokyo for Tokyoites, for people like me who live here and as well as tourists. So if you're visiting here and you have some time, go on the weekdays and not on the weekends. Just a little bit of advice. You can go on the weekdays, but try to go early. I found that it gets really crowded between um, 9 a.m. and lunchtime. At around 12 o'clock, all the restaurants are full. We had to wait um, for about 30 minutes before we can get lunch. And we had to pay a little bit more at a pricier restaurant just because it would have been a lot longer if we didn't. Can I just go on inside? Are you next? Tsugi no Tsugi? Kind of, kind of getting there. And nani, nani chimon suru no? What are you gonna order? A baguette? Oh, and get me something sweet. Yeah, something sweet. Sweet potato? Uh, something sweet. They're making something with uh, with uh, icing. Like, uh, something that looks like this on top of the bread. Just, yeah. Oishimono. The, get whatever is the popular stuff. Which could be this. This is a, a han, han nori amai okashi pan. I don't think that's what that said. Rakuraku pan. That's the name of this place. So Kurai's almost there. Let me take you a little bit around the corner. We're not, we're not going to ruin this. I'm not going to take you down in there, but I'm going to tease you with it so you get an idea of what it looks like in here. It is worth coming to this corner. And a reason why I did not live stream this was that I could give you some space and people who didn't join the first one have a second chance to join us in the second one. Now, this is where the intersection starts again. This is another intersection and where the... Um, Kashi Yokocho picks up again. It's a more of a traditional street. You can see steam coming out, so you know they're steaming something good and a lot more traditional buildings. But it's very crowded in there. That's where we're heading in about five minutes. Can you wait? I can't wait. I'm not even hungry anymore, but we're, we're going to pack it in. We're going to pack it in for you. The tourist, the, the traffic just doesn't stop. It's coming from this direction. It's coming from this direction. So that's really interesting. You can sit outside the cafe too. A really nice little resting area, I think. Bicycle parking. I come by bicycle, but it's about 40 kilometers away from central Tokyo. so. It's a little bit of hike. Kanai should be on her way out now. Let's see, I'm gonna spy inside the window here. Spy, okay. Oh yeah, she's, she's making her order. Kanai's making her order. We're spying. She's spying on the staff. She's next. She's right now making the order, so we're about 30 seconds too early. I love, I love bakeries where the bread comes out piping hot, fresh like this, and if it's sweet, all the better. Maybe you shove a piece of A5 Wagyu in that baguette, huh? Ah, oh, there she is. Did you find something? She's eating something. That's awful. She's got something. What? No. She's eating something. It's not fair. I should have waited. I should have been the one to wait in line and I gave her the gimbal. Did she buy it, eat it, and then buy another one? That's what that's so that's a John move. I would buy, buy two, eat one, and say, oh, I only bought one. And I'll be like this, mm, I only bought one. That's, a, that's something I would do. She's learning the techniques. All right, let's give her a little bit of time. Across the street from this Rakuraku Bakery is another Rakuraku Bakery. I guess they just own this whole 
black, but this one looks really nice. It's a brand new building. And a lot of the buildings here look like that they're new. Just, but they've been, they're new, but they've been redone. This is a sandwich parlor. I guess you can order sandwiches with the bakery bread. And that's, that's a pretty neat idea. This one, there's nobody waiting at all. Kanai and I should have gotten a sandwich right here. Look at that. Looks pretty good. They have vegetarian sandwiches as well. Look at that. There's even the, the coveted fruit sandwich, which I think that I would really love to eat right now. Oh, that minchikatsu sandwich looks really good too. Minchikatsu is like breaded, like a breaded hamburger and then deep fried, deep fried hamburger with egg. Do you see that? Between bread and lettuce. Honestly, menchikatsu is, it's just amazing. And this is a juicy roast, juicy roast beef sandwich. So yeah, this bakery is, bakery is making me happy and hungry. And Kanai is paying right now. All right. I see her pain. You see her right there? That's her head turned not to us. She's wearing the same jacket as me. Just a woman's size. Woman's size. Once again, for those joining us, we are in um, a Kashi Yokocho. David, you hungry. David, we just ate. We just ate. She's, she's coming out right now. That's good. Lunch is pretty expensive, actually. I was surprised. But we're very, we're very happy. And it's a nice little day trip. So far, we've been having a great time. Um, yeah, you, I'll see if I can put the link in the description. But definitely check out the playback on the, on the episode before this. Because it'll give you how, all the information you need on how to get here. Um, walking that long shopping street was quite an adventure. Oh, and hey, David, everybody else, we're going to be going back to that vending machine, the sake vending machine, and see if we can get some shots of it. Here she comes. Oh, she bought a lot. Can I bought a lot? You bought a lot. What is this? What is this? You want to okay. show? You wanna yes, show? let's see what you got. We want to oh, look at the happy face. <laughs> a mini baguette? That's. Yeah. Oh, wow, okay. What was the one that they had this, the, the sweet one? Oh, this is the sweet one? Okay. Oh, just bread. Looks happy. Two breads. Wow. And my sister. Okay. Very cool. And this one is for me. Yeah. Oh my god. Inside, the smells so wonderful. It's, it smells so yeah. wonderful oh, inside. Okay. I, oh. inside. Oh, like you like in a different, yeah. Oh. We don't have smell o vision yet, so we have to go by the feeling. Like, oh. That's what it is. All right. Check out this bread. The first snack is bakery. But look at this piece. What is this? Fig? Ichijiku? Yes, fig. This is a fig inside this bread. So, me look, thinks this is going to be a pretty good bite here. All right, let's try it. Yay for food. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> Very nice fig. Yes. You try? Yeah. I'm sorry, I ate. That's what you're eating. <laughs> you do it. Mm. How many stars? Five. Five out of ten. Okay. Oh, ten out of ten. Okay. Oh, here. All right, we're gonna we're gonna watch our carbs. Good call. I saw the chat. We're gonna take you now down down to the alley. So we wanted to stop at that bakery. We knew there was going to be a line, so. 
We'll try to avoid the lines, but still show you some interesting stuff. But this place is a kid's dream come true, this street, because it's all snack foods and, and little teeny things and everything like that big stick. Everything is like two or 300 yen. It's super cheap. So it gives you a chance to try lots of different things, lots of little different snacks from Japan. And that's theme has impact because you, you can't miss it. What is? Whoa! The warabi mochi is sold out. That's what was sold out. This is a very soft mochi with kinako powder, roasted soybean powder. Gone! Darn! Next time, we'll be back for you. All right, let's get back to the thing. You can see here, it's, they call them like penny candies, things that are really cheap, 10 yen, 20 yen. 50 yen, nostalgic candies from the Showa era, maybe 40, 50 years ago. Stuff that Kanai's papa ate when he was a kid. Yes. He ate all this junk? I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the flowers. <laughs> That cute little kid's giving grandma some change for some candy. That's like 20, very uh, early 20th century, right? Where the candy's in a glass jar and the kid's looking at the glass jars. This one, they're making the candy in the back of the, uh, it's hard to see back there, but that's the factory. And they make the candy, put it in little plastic things and plastic uh, wrappers and you can get it and eat it. Everything is 110 yen. 10 yen because the tax went up to 10%. So it's 100 yen and the tax is included into it. Things like lollipops and little bags of candy. Things that you can just try. There's some things for 200 yen over there. But everything's pretty reasonably priced. Awesome place to buy gifts. There's the bell tower that we saw earlier. All right. The trip continues as we go down Kashi Yokocho. Kashi ya Yokocho. It's a little shop. It does feel like it feels like the old Showa era, right? Yes. With a with a like a old old granny taking money from from the uh, customers, just like they did 50 years ago. Now everything's by like IC card and pay by credit card. These are supposed to look like sweet potatoes, and they do. But it's really just... Fugashi? is like, um, like a crispy bread type of thing. Yeah, with sugar. Made by black sugar? Uh, made with black sugar. And it's that, it's that bread that's inside of these, do you see? Those long baguette-looking yeah, things. longest fugashi? That's a long fugashi. You can see them here on the wall as well. Ah, uh, they can't film in Oh, you're not allowed to film in there. All right, be careful. But these fugashi are super big, and uh, they're 350 yen, like $3. In there, he's doing amezaiku. Do you know amezaiku is the art, the Japanese art craft of uh, um, candy making? And I have a video on that as well. But it, it's like a throwback to the Showa era 40 years ago. Where did you Are we allowed to go and show the Amezaiku a little bit? All right, we'll show you a little bit of the Amezaiku. Amezaiku is, is such a really cool thing. It's it's like um, when you would make, make animals out of... Yeah, making animals out of balloons and stuff, but... I know, but... Oh, she's going to blow it. What? How cool is that? So she made the bubble and now he's going to make something out of it. It's the artist artistry of, of making candy the same way they did make like animals out of balloons and twisting them. You could do that with candy here in Japan and they make amazing animals. Uh, he just took it away. You make amazing animals and, and uh, objects. This one just looked like a bubble. Look at that. 
That's candy. It gets hard. Interesting. That's an easy one. What's this one? You watch she? Japanese clam. Oh, this yeah. one? Yeah. Ah, so these are little snacks. Um, Aji. Aji? Yeah. Salty on sticks. Great for beer. There's, oh, there's a sweet potato ice cream, can I? Hey, Jay Hunt, how you doing? Gabrielle Thomas, hello from USA, India, uh, Indiana. Look at that. So it's um, the purple and the white would be um, yokan and sweet potato. What a mix. What a mix. Wow. Nama imo yokan. That's a great flavor. Again, more candy. You can see everything was two dollars for a bag. I bought it from Kenai. Oh, that's what you bought yeah. from before. Yes. Kanai's got a sore throat, so she bought some. Bought some okashi, some. Uh, yeah. Oh, you bought that one. Yeah. For it says for your throat. Let's see, these are. Um, uh, ishiyaki Imo. Oh, this is so cute. That looks really good. But it doesn't use butter. Oh, there's no butter? Yeah, no butter. Wow. Just paste? So that's um, grilled, uh, rock grilled sweet potatoes in a package for less than $4, 430 yen, which comes out like 390 or something. What is a yokan? Uh, yokan is, uh, how can I eat? Is it made from the red beans, but it's yeah, kind of like smashed up beans, but pure and yeah. harder and like cake? Yeah, it's like a cake made out of it. It's yeah. very, it's very heavy and semi-sweet to sweet depending on the kind of yokan. You can add some additional flavors to it. It's very good with green tea. Yeah, it's good with green tea, traditional Japanese. It's hard to explain it, but... yeah. It's made from the same um, sweet beans that we have everything, but it's like purified and you don't taste the beans, like the skins of the beans. It's all, it's good. Yokan, Y-O-K-A-N, right? I don't know, I don't know. Yokan, Yokan, there you go. Oh, they got beer here too. It's 20 yen. No, I'm good. I drank that one, yeah. Do you want to try the ice cream, can I? Yeah, we ate. Yeah, we ate a lot of food. <laughs> we'll see what we can find. Right here is also a lemonade stand. Fresh squeezed lemonade. There's 20 seats inside, so you can sit in there, kind of enjoy. Smell. I can smell the lemonade. Ah, yeah, it looks like a chain. And people are waiting for something. Over here, he's making something. Let's see what's up. A taiyaki! Oh, with custard! Oh, yeah. What is that, kanai? Do you want some osembe? Uh, rice crackers, yeah. So he's selling sembe. They look like they're broken up in there. Freshly made sembe. Very cool. Oh, this one's taiyaki. Kanai, you gotta get a taiyaki. No, because you have to get one because I ate one yesterday. It's only fair. They have cheese, anko. Look at all the kinds they have. Right here. Kanai, wait, 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 wait. They have... Um, potato on and anko and cream. Oh, cream is good. Cheese, choco, chocolate. Yeah. Which one? Maybe emo? Emo, potato? Oh, that's true. In Kawagoe, usually you get the potatoes. 
All right, let's do it, can I? Just one. Oh, that's the line? What? All right, get in the line quickly, can I? Yeah, better get in it quickly, and then we'll decide. That's a long line. All right, you stay in line, can I? I'm gonna go just walk around with the with all of our, our friends here. So let's go to the end of the street now. I'm gonna go to the end of the street. We'll walk back and when we do, when we, when we come back, Kanai will have a taiyaki in her hand. I'm not making her do all the dirty work. So I, if I give her the, the uh, gimbal then, this is actually harder than what she's doing, so. It's all good. Here's the end of the street. As I showed you in the beginning of this live stream, the Candy Alley, it's just this way. It's just basically a square. It's one block and all the shops are around the block. Um, so right now I'm on the end of the street and I'm looking back at Candy Alley. That's what it looks like. Very well, well kept or renewed old buildings from the early 20th or late 19th century because there was a massive fire in Kawagoe in the year 1893 and they rebuilt it in in this uh, warehouse style but what is really unique about this town is that it retains the old charms of what the Edo period was like that's why they call it Little Edo and it's become a huge tourist attraction and it's filled with snacks, mostly from potatoes. Saitama has some pretty good potatoes, I guess. Satsuma Imo. Sweet potatoes. Everyone is buying, buying one of these okashi, the really long sticks you take. A lot of people can find a place to sit, eat a taiyaki or an ice cream or some fried potatoes. Look at this building up here. This is why you come to Japan, to find places like this. Personally, I try to get out of Shibuya. Oh, look at that um, unagi. That looks better than the one that we had for lunch. We didn't have unagi, but they had it at the restaurant we were at. It's about 30, $32 for that unagi set. Kind of pricey. All right, let's see what they got in here. So, ah, oh, the unagi is down at the end of the street. You see, he's the chef right now. He's grilling unagi. Oh, man. Ando1135, thank you. I do see, see the chat in time this time. Yeah, I love unagi. There's just a really delicious fattiness to it and flavor and the sauce. Ah. Oh. All of that put together is just delicious. So here they're putting, I think it's sweet potato, like like uh, sweet potato bits with uh, some kind of natural sugar on it. Looks like French fries. Looks like French fries. Interesting. It smells sweet. Ken, Kempi A. Kawagoe Kempie. Kind of looks like uh, french fries, but they're sweet and hot. All right, let's go check up on Kanai. Kanai, you did it! You got it! Perfect timing. We were just making our way over to you. It is. Let's, let's hang out on the side here. I guess just kind of hang out right here. I go. It's in front of other it. They're all friends. Okay. All these shop owners are, are good friends. Yeah. There's no place to escape. You have to eat it here. So let's let's see your taiyaki. Taiyaki is always shaped like a fish because that's Thai. Thai is the name of the fish. Do you go head or tail? Do you eat the head or do you eat the tail? Head. 
You go head first. That's what I did yesterday. All right, do it. Mm. <laughs> You're taking hamster bites. You have to. Well, eat. Bite the way you want to bite it, though. But. Now squeeze it and let it all ooze out. That's what I would do because I'm 12 years old. Oh, yeah, there's the potato. Yeah. Okay, I'll give it a bite. She takes Ando's right. She takes proper bites. That makes my bites not proper. Mm. Mm. Hot. It's basically, um, the batter is basically like pancake batter, and inside of it is like mashed up sweet potato. I think it's a little bit of sugar in there too. But the, my problem with the sweet potato is sometimes it's, it seems a little bit too dry. You need it with a drink or something. They did a good job making this creamy, but uh, I probably want to dip it into more sugar. <laughs> like a sugar syrup, yeah. Because I've got, you know, sugar problem. All right, I'll go for one more. One for the road. Do you, do you know the taiyaki shop? Taiyaki song? Yeah. We have a taiyaki song. Judy, my bites are rude, she said. Judy. Is that the opposite of proper? I mean, you're not wrong then. Grotesque would be better. I, would, I wouldn't take offense to grotesque. Rude, though. So that's a tough one. Oh, this is the spices, right? He's making the spices. Japanese shichimi, right? Shichimi is so good. It means seven spices. Yeah, the way you want to make it. Oh, yeah. More spices. Which one do you want? He'll mix it the way you want to mix it. A uh, more yuzu smell in there. Good. It's it's five hundred for it's five hundred for small and eight hundred for large. That's pretty good. She said it smells so good. So you like it, Kanai, huh? Yeah. Taiyaki makes everybody happy. Taiyaki makes the life makes life better. So you cannot be you cannot hold a taiyaki and not be happy. Oh, they're making taiyaki. See them. Look how cool that is. Whoa, look at the cheese chunks that she's putting in there. I think Whoa. it's potato. Oh, that's the potato? Yeah. Oh. I'd love this job. Just make potato pancakes all day. One for me, one for you. It's a nice shot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not leaving Kanai behind, Kaiser. Why is everybody so worried? Like I'm doing something bad. Everybody, the internet's always thinking that I'm abusing you. Crazy. Leaving her behind, Kaiser. <laughs> Jeff, I wonder if you can... If, if we could if we could send you Tayak oh thank you now you know what kind is more popular than me <laughs> yeah. you are right the Italian bombshell knows exactly right Kanai is capable of taking care of herself. So I'm going to walk through the alley now without um, annoying you by narrating stuff. Just take it all in yourself. I think you get the point.
さんにちょっと少しあげようか。ちょっと It is very crowded. Still gotta find the manhole cover, can I? I wanna see the manhole cover. The old one that's been painted. <laughs> Alright, we're clear. That is an amazingly comprehensive view of Kashi Ya Yokocho, right? Kashiya Yokocho, we did everything like we went back and forth twice. So now you know what you're getting into if you come this way. There are there's some pretty good candy. A lot of it's cheap. Many much of it is a hundred yen or less. It, taiyaki was like a dollar fifty, hyaku goju en. Yeah, hyaku goju en. So everything is pretty reasonably priced. Yes, yes. Yeah. But just keep in mind on the weekends, it's pretty crowded. Right? Yeah. Visit on weekday. Weekday. If you can, if you can come here. Is it your first time in Kawa yes, Kawagoe? Yes. Yeah, me too. Yes. Oh, koi. So you can tell. Excuse me, is there an earthquake coming? No, I don't know how they react with earthquakes. When the earthquake comes, can I? Do they go crazy? What do they do? I'm not sure. Hold her hand, John. Mark, don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to do. Look, see? She won't do it. Not on camera. That's nice. This is a pretty, a really pretty canal. That's so fun for the fish, I bet, to have the water running like this. It's probably like a party. These guys all know each other. Ah, oh, there's a kappa. Ah, kimoi. Yeah, kappas are, they steal little children and drag them into the river. It's a kappa. They're totally evil. Somebody put five yen on his head. He has a unagi. Oh, he's holding a eel. Yeah. Yeah. They're talking. They're talking? They're talking. Yeah. Wow, look at this camel on your left side. Oh, yeah, look at that. Come, 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 We come and go. I'm demonetizing myself. Alright, so you're supposed to give him five yen. <laughs> 